This is a quick walkthrough to show you how to create your own lockbox so you can challenge other students to review their mathematical concepts and answers to practice problems. So first you're going to click into your Google Drive. I'm in my Google Drive. I'm gonna select new and then go down to where it says more and click Google Forms. So basically a digital lockbox is just a Google form that has been formatted in a very particular way. So you might wanna give your form a name, like my last name is Tucker, math review lock box. And then click here and it will pick up the title. The first question should always be the person's name. So when you create a lock box, you also wanna collect the student's name. So you're gonna click this little um, button over. So this is required, which means they can't answer the next question or submit the form until they answer this one. And then you're gonna create a new section. And just think about sections as page breaks. So create a new section, label it question number one. I know it says section two, just label it question number one. And then you're gonna click this add sign and you're gonna add a question. It's gonna auto populate with multiple choice, but what we want is a short answer. And then you can put your mathematical equation right here in the question box. So I'm gonna do a super simple one. Five plus five equals question mark. So then in order for students to, to figure out was this their answer correct, you're gonna to wanna to choose this response validation down here. So I'm gonna select, it's right on number, and I'm gonna select equal to, which means they have to put in the correct answer. The answer to this is 10, so I'm gonna put equal to 10. And then I usually put in a custom error text. So try again, so they know, oh, they didn't get it right, and they need to try again. And you wanna make sure that you make it a required question. So they have to answer it to get to the next one. Just like we did before, you're gonna click that, add a new section. Now we're gonna title this question number two. We're gonna click the plus sign and select short answer. We're gonna say three minus one equals, I'm sorry, these are so elementary. Math is not my strong suit. And we're going to, again, make sure it's on number. We're gonna click equal to, we're gonna put the answer here, and then a custom code in case they get it wrong and we're going to click required. So now if I'm a student, when you when you create your lockbox, if a student's trying to unlock it, they're only gonna see one section at a time. So you gotta put in your name and then I have to answer this correctly in order to get to the next problem. So if I put the answer is nine and I try to go next, I'll get the error code, try again. And it's only when I enter the correct answer that I'm gonna get to the next, see the next question. So that's how you create your own lockbox so you can create review activities for your peers.